Determining the critical failure surface or failure mechanism of a slope and associated safety factors is a fundamental step of slope stability analysis. The shear strength reduction, SSR method, can help uncover the effects of stress-strain relationship of materials in slopes which may be missed when only limit equilibrium analysis is performed. This tutorial illustrates how to use the shear strength reduction method to analyze the stability of an open pit mine using RS3, and the results are then compared with slide 3. From the RS3 main menu, select File, Import, Import Slide 3 Project, and select the file Open Pit Stability Analysis. The import wizard shows a preview of the model with import options to generate mesh and assign auto restraints. Click OK to complete the import. The project settings, geometry along with material properties, mesh and constraints are all set and provided as Slide 3 seamlessly integrates with RS3. Now, the RS3 model is ready to be computed, but first, let's check some of these model components. Select Analysis, and then Project Settings. The model will analyze slope stability through the Shear Strength Reduction SSR Analysis method. Under the Shear Strength Reduction tab, observe that Determine Strength Reduction Factor is activated, and the values for SRF are entered as Initial Estimate of SRF equals 1, Step size is automatic, and tolerance SRF is 0.01. Click OK to close the dialog. Go to the Restraints Workflow tab and select Restraints, then Auto Restrain Surface in the menu. The finite element mesh in RS3 can be generated with a single click, but let's review the mesh settings. Go to the Mesh Workflow tab and select Mesh. Mesh settings. Update the settings to the following inputs. Element type is 10 noted tetrahedra, mesh gradation is uniform, and mesh density is low. After, click Mesh and you'll see the model with the new mesh. Next, move to the Compute Workflow tab. From this tab, you can compute the results of your model. First, save your model by selecting File, Save As. Use the Save As dialog to save the file. You're now ready to compute the results. Now, select Compute to start computing. Note, depending on your computer's processing power, computing the model may take some time. You can download the model file with the computed results from the RS3 online help. Go to the results workflow tab to view the failure surface in the model. Under the two drop-down menus in the legend, change the results to Total Displacement and select the Show Exterior Contour icon in the toolbar. To compare the result to the slide failure surface model, you can import the failure surface obtained from slide 3. Select Interpret, then click on Import Slide 3 Result. Import the Open Pit Stability Analysis file. This will import the failure surface obtained by slide 3 on top of the RS3 result for comparison. Right beside the Results Workflow tab, you should see the critical SRF of 1.5. Scroll down the drop-down menu and select 1.51. You'll notice that the text color is red after 1.5, which indicates slope failure after that specific SRF. The model should look as shown here. Also note, the displacement contour aligns well with the failure surface found by slide 3. This is a good indicator that the SSR method found a critical region of failure like slide 3. In slide 3, the factor of safety is found to be 1.41 with the GLE method. The accuracy of the calculation of critical SRF can be improved if the number of elements increase in the finite element model. 
a separate RS3 analysis with mesh refinement around the failure zone would be a good practice. We will also look at the maximum shear strain of the model by cutting a section through the critical region of slope failure. We can suggest the location of the section, but you can also move the section close to the failure surface. Select Interpret, Show Data on Plane, and select XZ. For the coordinates of the plane, just change the Y coordinate to negative 60. After the contour plane has been created, Look for Exterior Contour in the Visibility tree and turn off the visibility by toggling the view icon off. Then, under the drop down menu in the legend, change the results to Solid Strain Maximum Shear Strain to see the result. You can see from the results that the maximum shear strain of the contour plot follows the failure surface imported from slide 3. Different SSR search regions can be added to the model. This is a useful feature where you can choose where you want to calculate the factor of safety for a specific region of interest. Efficiently resolve and analyze complex slope stability problems with RS3's advanced SSR capabilities. Click the links in the description below for additional tutorials or to start your free trial of RS3 today.